Hello and welcome to this tutorial on AIML. In this tutorial we're going to take a look at the set and the get tags and then we're going to take a quick look at the think tag. So the set and the get tags work with something called variables and if you're unfamiliar with what variables are they're basically um, something that can hold a piece of data for you. So for example a name, a place, uh, a date of birth, um, anything really. Um, so for example we could have a name and that name could be equal to Tonkin code. Um, obviously variables don't have to just be names, they can be a location. So for example location equals uh, United Kingdom etc. Uh, that's not how you would write a variable in AIML. Usually what you want to do is create a category, create a pattern, and let's say we want to get someone's name, or they want to tell us their name and we want to remember it. So we'd put something like my name is, and then a wildcard. Then in our template we would put hi and then we would use our set tags to set our variable so we'd write set and then in the set tag you want to put name and this is going to be the name of the variable so name equals whatever you put in these quotation marks will be the variable name. So we will just call it um, username. Then we put our closing tag. As you can see it's already created a closing set tag for us. And in there we put our star tag. So whatever the star is, the wildcard, will be set as the variable username and of course this can be changed to anything it, it could be just a random string of letters it doesn't matter just for the sake of tidiness we will call it username and you can put things after the set tag for example we'll put an exclamation mark it doesn't matter and cool so now if we save that and we go down to our chatbot and we type in my name is Tonkin code huh okay what's gone wrong there okay I figured it out it would help if I spelt template properly There we go. So now once you've spelled template properly, you can write down my name is Tonkin code and it will say hi Tonkin code. So it's getting yeah, it's it's adding that to the variable which is username. And now we can create a new category to say if we want to ask the chatbot if it knows what our name is. So let's create a category, we'll create a pattern, and we'll say what is my name. And then template, spelled correctly this time. And then we can put something like your name is, and then we'll use our get tag name equals user name and then we don't need another get tag uh, another get tag to close it we can just put our forward slash and um, closing bracket now let's save it again what is my name your name is Tonkin code excellent so that's sim quite a simple demonstration of how you can use the set and the get tags. Again just to reiterate these things in quotations those are the variable names and they can be 
whatever you want to call them, they can. You can literally do this, and so long as it's the same name, um, it will still work. So let's do it again. My name is Tonkin. Ah, we'll, we'll we'll call it something different. My name is uh, Gandalf. There you go. Now let's move on quickly to the think tag. Now the think tag is very simple. It's simply just a way of setting a variable without your chatbot telling you what that variable is. So let's... I'll show you and then it'll be easy to understand. So all we have to do is put our think tag around are uh, set tags. So the set tags are inside of the think tags. And now if we type in my name is uh, Hagrid, it will just say hi without saying hi Hagrid or whatever the variable name was. And that's just a way of setting a variable without having the chatbot tell you what you've just done. Okay, and that's everything for this tutorial. Um, I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.